first time I got the call, I, uh, you know, I was relieved. I think everybody uh, in my family was waiting for me to figure out if I was going to make it or not. I was extremely happy just to be able to talk to my family about it. Oh, yeah, this is crazy. Wow. So is that? What up, dog? What up, what up, what up? It was big, man, but my family being able to sit on the sideline and, and being able to see them and go through the festivities, and it, was, uh, it was a lot of fun. There's the legs, that's the one, cool. Making his all-star game debut, the high-flying two-time slam dunk champion from the Chicago Bulls, Zach Levine! Zach Levine of the Chicago Bulls. He hits for three, and he has had a terrific season. It was a moment where I, I sat back and I realized, you know, this is something big. Um, it was a goal of mine and I accomplished it. And, you know, obviously you don't want to stop there. Beautiful oop right there by Levine. Harden gives it up. Zach Levine for three. Hey now. Hey now. Hey now. I don't know no out of bounds plays. You know, being able to sit down there and actually appreciate the moment. Um, and take it all in, talk to guys being in the same locker room as some of these other guys that were either first-time All-Stars or guys, you know, all the way up to where LeBron was being on the court with him was a 17-time All-Star. So it's, uh, you know, it's a big, uh, it's a big deal. Levine takes to the right. Hey, you know, I have my own motivation to get back. I think over the next couple of years, I'll get some more All-Star game experiences where, you know, when the world gets put back together and everything is safe and you can enjoy it for what it is again. Young finds Patrick Williams, who's having a big night tonight, and it all leads up to a much needed 118 to 95 Bulls margin. They leave it on the floor every night, a credit to the players and a credit to this coaching staff. Billy Donovan is a terrific coach, he's put a great staff around him, including the great Mo Cheeks. They are where they are because of the power of the coaching staff and the reach that Donovan has. For players who are young and you know they have huge aspirations, often getting over the hurdle is how do you figure out how to do that? And Billy and his staff have done a tremendous job communicating with them, talking to them, teaching them. They invest time in players. Would that be on the court, watching film, or just uh, talking through mental aspects and expectations for games? The vibe is is way more positive and way more uplifting. And everybody has one common goal on the team and the coaching staff and in front office, we all just want to win. You know, it's, it's the first time we're working together. And I think the reason it's gone so smoothly is the character uh, of the guys. Here we go. I can't see a thing. Glasses off, eyes off. Should I get a little bit more professional here? <laughs> I've joined Coach Donovan's staff. Can you hear me okay? Can I start over? You want me to start over? Okay, sorry about that. Daily, we always work on ways to always improve. We do a lot of film study, and then we get into our skill development. I'm working primarily with Josh Longstaff with the defensive side of the ball. Nice, two, three. You know, I've known Josh uh, for a little bit of time. Uh, you know, he, he's a guy that's an incredible worker, great guy, very, very smart basketball mind. Okay, looking right at... Okay. My role is to basically, you know, coach, and that's something that Billy encourages us to do on a daily basis. Game pass. Bang. A lot of times when you have people coming from different backgrounds, Damien's from Australia, a guy that's coached internationally, he's got a really, really good pulse on team dynamics. We have a we have a really good blend of youth and experience, and we turn up, we work hard, and, and we enjoy each other's company. Mo Cheeks, his experience as a player, as a former point guard, I think, you know, him spending time with those guys has been great. Chris has been a great resource for me, just helping me, uh, you know, learn a little bit more about the players from being here last year. All our guys are a year old, and that means a lot when you have a young group. 
this group currently is 100% more connected than the group that I got to know when I first came in here. Take care of business, man. Hey, we gotta take care of business. Bulls on three. One, two, three, bulls. You're always talking about chemistry and sacrificing and working together and being a good team. And I've always felt like if your coaching staff can't model those behaviors, it's very difficult to ask your team to do that. Levine through the defense. What a reverse oh, by man. Zach Levine. I think the results are evident. I think the growth is evident. They've done a great job breaking down each one of our players, letting them know what their strengths and opportunities are, communicating that with them, putting plans against that, and then helping them execute. Lowry marketed with the best half he's played all year. The players have been extremely coachable. They are bought in. They are invested in themselves and their teammates. Our tourists and Mark kind of set the tone early. They just kind of talked about how they just wanted to change the culture. And changing the culture was something big uh, when Billy came too. I feel like they put it in the forefront of this how good teams are and how you should operate. And if they're doing it from top down, then we should be doing it as well. Levine, beautiful pass to Mark. This group of lads, they're, they're wonderful to be around. They work hard. They try their best to implement what coach wants. I feel they're a big part of the reason why we're starting to feel optimistic about our future. Get excited about this team, Bulls fans. I mean, this is a fun team to watch. They can score, their defense is getting better, and they got a good group of veterans that help them finish these games like they did today. There's a lot of people that kind of know that they want to do this job right out of the gate. I was not one of those people. Until I got to college uh, at Valparaiso in Indiana, I didn't really know that this was a, a real job. I didn't know that this could be a career. It was something to fill the time between the fall and the spring when I stopped playing sports because I wasn't good enough to play sports anymore. So uh, I think it was when I was 25 or 26, it really clicked like, oh, this is actually your job. You're allowed to enjoy this and you're allowed to make this, you know, your focus. Chuck, I told him he looked sharp today. I was like, wow, I was like, the suit looks good, man. My, my first uh, national TV game, I had a high school football game on ESPN2 and I didn't have a suit. So I went to the thrift store. I bought a, I bought like a slightly used suit for $75. But I gotta get a suit, right? I've never, I'm, I'm gonna be on national TV. My mom's gonna be watching. Terrible, terrible look. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, man. A lot of my best memories with my family, with my brothers, my, my dad in particular, revolve around watching big games. And the Bulls were probably chief among that, being that they were the, they were the team. When I found out that this was going to be the next step. I, I cried. I was, it was pretty emotional. I think when the starting lineups come on, you know, the, the same introduction that you've been used to for the last three decades of your life, and now I get to be in the arena and be the first voice that people hear after those are done. I think that's the moment, especially for home games, where you just kind of shake your head and go, yeah, this is an actual thing that's happening. All right, baby, let's have some fun, brother. The Thunder make the trip to the United Center tonight, where two nights ago, the 19-year-old Patrick Williams put together one of the best games of his young career off 23 points, six rebounds, a couple of highlight reel dunks for Williams in a victory over the Toronto Raptors. You got to remember, this team has come in somewhat hot. They've won six of 10, so this is not an easy game. Oh, Roby wasn't looking for the ball. Sadoransky's got it. Lob for LeBron. Don't get it. Oh, my. Flight eight. Do you have your ticket? Woo. Sadoransky leaves it for Young. The floater's nice. good. The when connectivity. See, when you see you, when you see that is Young, he not only gives you assists, but he gives you scoring. I think just by sheer volume, you're going to develop a rhythm and a cadence and a chemistry. and. Luckily, when you have a partner that is open to all of those things, like Stacy is, uh, it, it becomes fairly easy to find that rhythm. I knew we had a good rapport with one another. That's chemistry is everything. I, th I think a big part of it is we're friends outside of basketball. You know, we don't just show up for the games and then do the games and then that's how you know we do things. He's hip too. Like you know, I'm I'm a, I'm a R and B hip hop type of guy. He can flow with that kind of stuff. Had his man sealed, posted up like Raisin Bran. Posted up like Raisin Bran. That's two mm -hmm. cereal drops in one. Yeah, hey man, come on. Kobe White. Oh, oh the Kobe. switching of the hands. Kobe at that looking speed. like a magician Ooh. out there. He has given me a whole new sense of energy, a whole sense of purpose now. I've definitely grown because of him. I've grown, I've figured out more ways to be adaptable because Stacy 
his energy is what people come for. Here is marketing. Aggressive. Oh, 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 stop it! Oh my stop goodness. it! Don't Larry make the marketing. finisher mad! <laughs> you done made him mad! Oh my goodness! Oh, what has Brown done to you? Absolutely nothing! Get up and get out the way. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, wee! Brown, that's a poster. That that's is, a poster. Oh, that, my that, that, goodness. That's a poster. Oh, well, let me get my poster machine. Oh, oh my goodness. My. The anticipation of that moment is the most fun part of watching incredible athletes do what they get to do on a nightly basis. So you're, you're just kind of anticipating something cool to happen, and you hope that when it does happen, you give it the right amount of energy, and it's 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 fun to call it with Stacy, and it's fun to work with this crew. Zach Levine having a good time. Lowry marketing, jamming it down. Little flex. And then Thaddeus Young. Man's jam for the 14-year veteran. Here's White. Oh, nice fake. Good pass to Levine. Good shot fake to get Maladone in the air. That was beautifully executed on all ends. Levine looking for 40. Give him the 40 oh, piece. Sometimes I dream he is me like Zach. If I could be like Zach. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> <laughs> but when they're playing excited basketball, when they're playing with passion, it's hard to beat a team that feels like this right now. It's fun to watch. Bulls make it back-to-back -back home wins against the Raptors and the Thunder. It's the first time in four years the Bulls have had back-to-back -back home wins of 20-plus points. For Stacy and our crew, Adam Amin saying good night from the United Center. Yo. Yeah. Hi, I'm Tia White. I'm Kobe White's older and better looking sister. <laughs> During the height of the pandemic and just what our country was going through from a racial oppression standpoint, Kobe came to visit me shortly before the season started. And he said, you know, I could go out and protest, but I want to do something that feels like it would represent me. I just wanted to raise awareness this year in a different way than just, you know, just using my words, because I'm not that type of dude. I like hoodies a lot, so my sister came up with the idea to just wear a hoodie to represent, you know, a different thing each home game. I have a good friend who has her own business, so it's a small black business. Adria Davis is the owner and founder. And we came up with this idea to leverage his platform through his fashion to raise his awareness to topics that are super important to him or super important to society. My sister and I come up with an idea and, and she basically makes it and ships it. That's kind of how the process works. There were certain things that we had to cover. For the month of February, Trayvon Martin was by far something he had to wear. That's the first like racial injustice death that he experienced at the age of 12 and then how my dad had to talk with him and would forbid him from wearing hoodies out in public, especially at night. When we went from Black History Month, he said, so what are we gonna do for the month of March? And I said, well, it's Women's History Month. And he's like, yeah, that's dope, that's dope. Women make 78 cents for every dollar men make. Women, I mean, Black and Latinx make even less to the dollar than white. He has a lot of strong women in his life. I'm sure he would say I was one of them, but especially my mom. So when we were talking about women's sports, I asked him, I said, well, who's your favorite player? And he, and I'll never forget it, he stands up and he's like, hands down, Diamond to Shields. Diamond to Shields, because I'm a big supporter of the Chicago Sky. As soon as I got drafted last year, I went to multiple games. So, you know, she's a bucket. She's she's relentless on both ends of the court. She just plays extremely hard. So for me, it was, it was doing a good job of highlighting women's rights and equality. Definitely want to do something with cancer, dealing with cancer, just because of, of, of the deal he's played in my life. Our family has been hit by cancer in so many different ways, especially breast cancer. And so Bright Pink was a local organization to Chicago that Kobe opted to donate to. Every three that I made, I was donating $1,000. Kobe White, that's a three. Got it. Oh, bang, bang, bang. And I added an extra $1,000 at the end because I didn't hit that many threes that game. Rihanna Taylor was another one that he was super passionate about. Everybody knows what struggle it was in 2020 dealing with that. Just raising awareness, don't let, don't let that name die. As time goes on, people forget her name needs to live on and, and we need to continue to make it a bright spot. Monday, you have another home game? Yeah. You go where to pay equity on Monday. And then the women's collage on Wednesday? Yeah. All right. All of these hoodies can be created and purchased. 
Kobe gets none of the proceeds, so you would just be supporting a small black business. If I'm being honest, last year with all the riots and the protests and everything that happened, I kind of felt like that I didn't do my role. I feel like I could do a lot more, especially be a role model for, for the kids back home, back in my community. He's from a small town in Goldsboro, North Carolina, and look at all that he's accomplished. And his exact words were, if I can do it, any other young boy or young girl can reach their dreams if they put in the hard work. I definitely want to take this further and further. My main focus right now is on the season, but after the season, maybe me and her can you know, sit down and talk and figure out what's next. The Magic, they're headed toward a rebuild. They've traded their best player, Nikola Vucevic, to the Bulls. This is a move strongly in the right direction. I love this move by the Chicago Bulls. Out goes Wendell Carter and three others. In comes an influx of new talent, led by two-time All-Star Nikola Vucevic. We did a lot of internal meetings and put down some ideas how we can make this team better. Usually you don't get uh, too many chances at uh, All-Star. Uh, level players. We're serious here about winning. Any opportunity we get uh, to make this team better, we will. We have Zach now as an all-star, Nicole is an all-star. One of the best things that he can do is can facilitate shots for others as well, besides the fact that he's a 25 and 12 player. So he's going to make uh, everybody's life much easier. But for Camino, he's been a very productive player. When I was in Denver, he wasn't playing for Portland. And we played in the playoffs a lot of games. He's, he's been great for them before he came to Orlando. Him including that deal, we were excited. Three-way deal, the acquisition. So, you know, Troy Brown, who's actually a very young player, still developing. Javante Green from Boston, his athletic wing, excited us too. And, and then Daniel Theis played big time minutes for Boston over the years and, and in the playoffs. So it's a huge, huge addition. Want to thank OP, Wendell, Daniel, Hutch, and Luke, you know, for contributions to Chicago Bulls organization, and uh, we wish them well. We try to win games while we're in this business, and from the time we got here, we we said that we're trying to get back to relevancy, and we got 29 games to go. We're gonna make a push, and you know, you need that kind of group of players that can compete in every game. We're not done, so we're gonna try to keep improving, you know, keep improving our quality of play and, and then keep adding pieces to, to what this team is gonna look like in the future. It's a group effort and during trade deadline, it happens quick and you have to be ready to, uh, you know, react. At first, I was a little bit shocked, and it just had a lot of things to process. But you know, as the day went on and stuff, it was uh, I was very happy. I think that's a great opportunity for me. I'm happy to be part of this amazing organization. You know, who's had you know, obviously great history behind it, and uh, a great city. And uh, most importantly, the team. I think it's a very good team, a lot of good young pieces. And I think you know, with me coming here and all the other moves that are made today, I think we can. You know, we really make a good push for the playoffs. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Good. Good. Well, I'll let you guys catch up. Good to see you too, man. man. I'm glad I don't have to play against you. I was surprised I let you go. I know Daniel a little bit, you know, from Germany. I think there's always that Euro connection. So I know a couple of the guys, but I'm looking forward to, to talk to them. And I got a couple of texts from some of them too. So I'm excited. I think it's a new chapter for me. I think, you know, whenever something new happens for you in life, you get there's always an excitement and I'm looking forward to it. So hopefully I can practice with the team and play in the next game. And, uh, but yeah, I'm very excited to be here and hopefully I can, the team have much more success.
So Vucevic has worn number nine, it's really important to him. He offered to pay uh, Patrick Williams an undisclosed amount of money uh, for the number nine. The first thing I had to do was get clearance by the NBA. Uh, it's kind of unheard of for a player to change numbers in the middle of the year. That's something that's done in the offseason. Uh, but with Vooch coming in and, you know, the all-star caliber player that he is, they wanted to make sure that he was taken care of and happy, and Patrick Williams gladly agreed to do it. So the league cleared Vooch to have number nine, and Patrick Williams is switching to number 44. All their jerseys are meeting us in San Antonio, hopefully. They'll be overnighted from Portland, Oregon, where the embellisher puts their name and numbers on them. They'll overnight the black statement uniforms to San Antonio, because that's what we're wearing on the first two games of the trip. If they don't make the white association jerseys in time, then they'll drop ship those to Phoenix, which is where we go on the third leg of the trip and the first time we wear the white jersey. There's a business side that everybody sees, you know, in this league on a day like yesterday. But like I've told you guys from day one, the guys that we hear, Business and winning got nothing to do with each other. Okay, winning sets the rules, and we got to play by those rules about what goes into winning. One, two, three, four. Bulls fans, Kobe Wyatt, one more behind the scenes action. Click here for more episodes of Run With This.